we've often had a big fascination with science fiction. And it's not surprising because it lets us go places that we really can't go and oftentimes points to a very happy future, um, sometimes if not based on a potentially dark science fiction past. But luckily that never came to happen. And we normally make science fiction either we're being invaded by terrible aliens or we meet some friendly aliens or we're out in the universe causing trouble somewhere. But all of it, of course, is inspired by the reality of space travel, which is far less uh, glamorous, but maybe no less exciting. And the Apollo astronauts on this day in their flight 54 years ago would have been about halfway to the moon. And people say, why does it take three days to get to the moon if it's a quarter million miles away, but they're going 25,000 miles an hour? Shouldn't it only take 10 hours? But as soon as they cut those engines off, Earth's gravity starts slowing them down, and by the time they transition to lunar gravity that speeds them back up, they're down to a little over 3,000 miles an hour. So basically it's kind of like kicking a football. As soon as you kick it, it really goes fast, but it starts slowing down right away. And the astronauts are very busy checking their trajectory and just keeping the ship running and everything. So. I imagine that a lot of people in their minds, you know, thought, man, this must be a really cool thing to do, but actually it's very tight and uncomfortable and there's no privacy. But the science fiction of the time made it look really great. And well, it was science fiction. And maybe someday it'll be like that. But right now, three guys are sitting shoulder to shoulder having to share pretty much uh, everything. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I guess they were just hoping nobody farts. Okay, I, I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have gone there. Uh, by the way, they did eat a low de residue diet, uh, a lot of protein, a lot of steak and eggs, which was a traditional breakfast, but uh, no food that would produce gas for just that reason. Because, you know, that is a really small capsule. So they were halfway there, and the earth was getting smaller in the window. Guys, uh... That's all I got for right now. We'll talk to you later. And as always, model on.